I want to come in and I want to buy 100,000 worth of gold. Are you worth 25 million? Yeah, I am. Let's get right into it. Um, tell me about the incarceration. Why were you in jail and how long were you in jail? Well, um, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Aisha Hall. I'm from Strong Island, exit okay. 21, okay. you know, um, representing New York all day. And, um, you know, I went to federal prison. I was very young, I was 25 years old. I went to federal prison for a long time. I was sentenced to 10 and a half years. Jesus Christ, a dime piece. A dime piece, a dime right. piece. And, um, you know, my nickname in there was Aisha. She got a, a year for every meal she made, you know. People a year, um, a year for every meal she made. A year for every meal I made. That's that's that was the that was the tagline. So you, you made know? ten million for that? Yeah, about that. Mm -hmm. How much of that did you spend? You know what? Actually, I didn't spend a lot of it. You know, it was sitting what? in the bank. It was sitting there. And it got taken. Because I didn't spend a lot of it, it was sitting in the bank, so okay. it was taken, yeah. unfortunately. I wish I would have spent it, you know? What would you have spent it? Mm, probably more businesses. <laughs> okay, okay, I should know probably, what you're doing. Probably more, you know? Um, but it was crazy, I had a company, you know, and we did what's called proof of funds. And what it is is basically providing the paperwork for people who are about to get involved into trading, mm. trading commodities, which is like gold, silver, diamonds, beryllium, rubber, how did Things you get your hands nature. on these kind of materials? I didn't actually have the materials myself. I set up the trades for the people who were engaged in trading. So, for example, if you want to walk into a store that's buying and selling um, gold, for mm. example, um, and you're coming in and you're buying bricks of gold for, say... Oh, so these are not like gold chains. These are like no, the this is brick like bricks. bricks, bricks Jesus of gold. Christ. And you're going in and you want to buy bricks of gold, and they say, well, in order for you to come in here, you have to be worth um, $25 million. And you're like, hold on, I'm only gonna spend like a hundred grand. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to be worth 25 million? Doesn't matter, that's the requirement. Doesn't matter what you're spending in here, whether it's a dollar or whether it's 20 million, that's the minimum requirement. So now a lot of people aren't able to enter into those types of deals because they're they not worth 25 that million. Exactly. And a lot of times it was a hundred million. Sometimes it was 300, 500. It just depended on who managed that, that trading platform. So my bright idea was to make that type of transaction more accessible to more people. So I started linking my clients with people who, who had that type of money or purported to have that type of money, and now they could show the paperwork. So now I come knock on the door, I wanna come in and I wanna buy 100,000 worth of gold. Are you worth 25 million? Yeah, I am. But how are they? Because Aisha Hall made them look like they were, even though they really weren't. So that's, that's, that's the story in a nutshell. Okay, all right, all right. Let, me, let me unpack this. <laughs> so, so you're falsifying documents? Basically, okay, yes. Okay, gotcha. There was a legal way that it was done, which is when there's people who really have those assets, I was taking my clients and linking them with those people. What I did wrong was, in some cases, I had clients who didn't want to wait for that process. So we just, you know, went ahead and threw them on the paperwork. 